All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing Swords. As always, I'm Andrew. And I'm going to be coming at you from a whole different angle today. We're going to be looking at the slightly alternative, much how people describe me when they're being kind. <laughs> uh, that's not what I've heard. <laughs> well, you've heard the not kind versions. I don't think people are ever kind. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this week, guys, we're, uh, you know how we feel about milking a, a dead cow, dead pigeon, however you want to put it. Mm-hmm. Like milking that bad boy all day. So we're uh, revisiting an old favourite, which is funny news stories. Me and Jake have scoured the internet for funny stories over the last year, and uh, we're here to come at you with some funny, hilarious nonsense. We're here to come at you with the best that we could find, all, all of the ones that are on the first page of Google. Absolutely, I don't go further than that. Who goes past the first page of Google if it's not on the first page? I've got to say, I, I never go past. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Just don't go for it. If I've got, if I have to go past page two or page one, I assume that I've typed my question wrong. <laughs> yeah, if you can't find what you're looking for, you're not going to find it. The problem is you, Google. Yeah, yeah, it's not Google. It's never Google. <laughs> it's never Google. It's never Google. Right, Jake, do you want to start us off with some hilarity? Yeah, I'll start us off with, and this this one, it was quite mainstream. Um, you will remember it. It was from December uh, 2019, in fact, that it was announced oh, Jay, you just going into January liar. 2020. A liar. No, but it was, it was really picked up in 2020. Um, and it's it's something that was picked up, and we start, as always, in the world of US politics, of course, where else to start than in Donald Trump's administration? And I'm talking about the story in which uh, Mike Pence said uh, during a statement that on behalf of the president of the US, he's happy to, he's happy to announce on behalf of the president of the US, it uh, is his honor that henceforth, the men and women of the US Space Force will be known as Guardians. And they also had a huge, massive rip-off of the Star Trek logo. Why are they? Why? <laughs> this is all, by the way, the, 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 the um, department is called Space Force. No. <laughs> Genuinely not making it up. The Space Force, the men and women in it will be called Guardians, and the logo is the Star Trek logo. What? If you haven't seen it, Google it. It's well worth it. <laughs> I don't remember hearing about this. <laughs> then I'm glad I could bring it to at least you. What, why are they called Guardians? I don't get it. I d- Maybe you saw the film and you really liked it. He was like, that fucking... Tell you Guardians what, I'm was doing it, right? Shit. That's doing well. I mean, it's genuinely like, how many people can we plagiarise in one move? <laughs> So what, is this going to be a government department or they're rebranding NASA? No, it's going to be a government department. I think they're working in conjunction with NASA. I mean, come on, it would be cool to be in that department, to have the the Star Trek logo on your on your uniform. Yeah, but you're going to be laughed at if you're in a bar and you're like, oh, well, yeah, you're um, in Space Force. (laughs) No, do you know what? I'd be able to say it with a proper... Even worse, what do you do for a living? I'm a guardian. So, sorry, what? I'm a guardian for the guardian. space force. Oh, you mean like you mean like for like some sort of kit, some sort of protection set or something? No, no, no. I protect space. Yeah, it's no big deal. No, uh, they're protecting the planet, Jake. What are they? Okay, not and the, space? just just to make sure you're not making this up, stranger in a bar. The company you work for is called Space Force. It's just Space Force. Uh, it's a government a space department, force. Jake. That makes it legit. <laughs> When they announced it, though, I literally couldn't help but think of the, um, the, the in Toy Story. And Buzz Lightning goes, I think the word you're looking for is Space Ranger. <laughs> 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 they did miss a trick there. They should have called them Space Rangers. But I, I mean, what do you make of that? Space Force, Guardian, Star Trek logo. I mean, Trump must have been the guy in the meeting. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they're like, uh, Mr. Trump, we think we need to create a new... Brand, a branch of the government uh, to deal with space issues and he's like, fantastic I'm right on board <laughs> what you should call this it's Space Force sorry it needs to be a serious I am serious <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just Space Force, we're forceful 
we're brutus we will you know we will win force is good um space it's in space duh yeah i don't know what's wrong with space force uh, they've got to have a uniform as well do you know what i like i like that star trek <laughs> But I mean, like, honestly, if you ever Google it, it is are alarmingly similar. It's almost the same. It's just like they've changed the words. The pod. It's, it's, it. it's shockingly brilliant. And it was just so... It was like, they might as well have done it on April 1st and everyone be like, oh, that was a good joke. That actually <laughs> nearly got us. And it was like, no, no. Real. If anyone's had you disappointed, we haven't done it. Like, how would you approach someone... So if we were to do it and we set it up, how would you approach? Would you just approach someone and be like, "Hey, son, you want to be a guardian?" <laughs> no, we've got to pick a better name than that, though. It's got to be better than guardian. You want it to sound slightly pervy. I don't know where to go with that. I don't know what right, a pervy you know what I mean? space ranger sounds like. Approach uh, young teenage men and ask them if they want to join the space force. You need to have a a sort of pervy name to go with it. I mean, and to be fair, you know, you're you're well set up for, you know, you've got lots of experience approaching young teenage men. Ask them to join the Space Force is a new addition, but... You know, I'm approaching them for all sorts of reasons, Jake. It's normally scientific, biological. Oh, know. completely. Completely. I get it. Um, I get it. So I would have some credibility with them, but if I didn't have a pervy angle to it, they're not going to take me seriously. Would you lose all credibility. The second you step up and be like, do you want to, do you want to be a guardian? And they're like, well, I mean, that sounds a bit daft. And you're like, listen, come find me at Space Force headquarters. And you're like, all right, well, now I'm definitely not joining. Space this. Force. That's, that's <laughs> <a> HQ. <laughs> you're like, that's a cult. That's definitely a cult. No, we're paid by the government. <laughs> uh, Oh man, yeah, no, that's that happened anyway. That happened, and yeah, I thought it was worth like looking back on. So, please, if you've got anything, I'd like to talk to you about fucking Jake. <laughs> sure, we often do, normally not on the pod, but sometimes it's it's a it's a small village in Austria, it's called fucking. Oh, that fucking that man, fucking. that's caused me many mistakes on my sat nav. <laughs> Well, apparently um, they've been getting a lot of unwanted attention. It's a small little town of 100 people on the border of Germany. Uh, and they've decided to change their name, which I find quite disappointing. I think I'm, familiar. I think I'm vaguely aware of the story, but please continue. They're really fucking... Like, for me, if you're going to change your name, it needs to be something... Change it. Compl- yeah, change it. Like, they might as well call it fudging or... So, I just, so, it, That'd yeah. be like you being like, I don't know about Andrew. What about Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's better, isn't it? What about Andrew? No, it's new me. New me, new name. Yeah. But yeah, I just thought it was a funny little story. What do you think? No, I love it. And I think the other thing is like, you know, for the English speaking people who are like fucking, that's hilarious. Putting it to fogging, I don't know if you've ever met any, you know, the majority of English speaking people or people as I like to call them. Um, they will see fogging and they'll go, huh, that sounds like fucking. Like, that's not going to stop them. <laughs> no, exactly. That's why you need to go for something completely no, different. Do you know what I mean? All you've done is just encourage them, but a little, you've made it a little more difficult for them to make that leap. You've maybe lost a couple of Trump supporters along the way, but let's be honest, the majority of people are still with you. They're still going to mock. Well, absolutely. And they're still going to get people going there and saying, I've been to fucking. Yeah. I've been to fogging. You've been to where? Fucking. Yep. Sounds yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, that was... Oh, like, what would you have changed it to? Um, dogging. Fucked. <laughs> Past tense. Is that what it becomes now? Past tense? Yeah. Like, it was fucked? It was fucked. <laughs> or will it just always be fucking? It was always fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing you could say about that town. <laughs> it's <laughs> always fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and it always will be. <laughs> yeah, it it was fucking, it is fucking, and it always will be fucking. <laughs> and then uh, I guess, I'm sure somewhere in there, the fact they changed it to fucking means that somewhere along the way they found the G spot. I'm sure somewhere in there, there's some kind of. <laughs> they they uh, found yeah, I'll let the spot for sure. I'll let the listeners do the hard work on that one. I don't want to do. Um, what I loved was the community much. vibe there. Everyone always used to like to come together. 
<laughs> I mean, the celebrations must be brilliant. Imagine if, you know, because if, if you put the, the, the name of the town at the start of like every celebration, you'd be like, you know, fucking Halloween. You're like, yeah, love it. You know I mean, like, <laughs> fucking, Christmas. fucking Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Like, how good. The opportunity is, and I hope they took them while they could. I bet you they didn't, though. I bet you it was a town that was proper serious about its name. Like, yeah, we're called fucking and what? Well, they must be quite serious. They changed it. Yeah. But they maybe they didn't really want to change it. That they were getting some people visit them. I mean, like, fucking... I mean, that must be like one of the most popular town names on the on the border. Most people must have been just queuing up to get pictures with it. Yeah, well, maybe not queuing so. up. I'm not sure it there's much been, tourism I think in the it's borders. Quite but sad that they changed it, if anything. I'd have been quite it, proud to say I came from fucking. What I think is, <laughs> what I think is <laughs> sad is that they changed it minimally. If they'd have gone yeah. all out, like proper new name, new me, I get that. Yeah. I don't like it. I, I prefer fucking. As we all do. Yeah. I get it. I love fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it. To change it to fucking is just the most pointless thing in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I, I fully agree. No, I like it. It's a good story. Yeah. It's a right. good story. And if any of our listeners have ever been to fucking, let us know. No, even better. Guys, how do you feel about fucking? Tweet us and tell us what you'd have called it. Yeah, what absolutely. would you have called fucking? I mean, I did, also, that's a separate thing. I'd love to know what you call fucking. <laughs> Some people just like a good old-fashioned fucking joke. Some people love a good old-fashioned fucking. Just proper old school, no messing about. Yeah, just there fucking. it is, that's fucking. Just fucking. That's, that's some fucking right there. <laughs> that is a nice... Isn't fucking beautiful? It is. Isn't, it's fucking is just lovely. It is. It, I it, it, it might be a shithole, I don't know. No, I, I've seen, I saw a video of it, it's quite a nice place. So you just, you watched the video, you watched fucking, you actively went on the internet, yeah, yeah, searched I, out a video I, of I fucking. videos of fucking online. Yeah, <laughs> many, many I imagine, I, <laughs> I imagine it wasn't hard. Maybe well, it was, it I don't was. know, there's a pun in there somewhere. <laughs> it was very hard. <laughs> <laughs> to the soundtrack of someone getting rid of their rubbish. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, That's what I think. Uh, moving on. Yeah, oh, let's talk about Sir, how do you feel about fucking... You know what, though? I would love to be able to have, like, a, a, a group of, of people on standby that we could do little vox pops with, that we could just cut to them, but they could be represent the man in the street, and we could just go, what do you think about fucking... Maybe, maybe we should do vox pops at some point. I would love it. If anyone out there wants to be a Vox Pop guest, email us, crossingswords19 at gmail.com, tweet us at Swords Crossing. We can't, um, we can't just go out there and talk to people on the street. No, but seriously message us, because I'm honestly like, there'll be a couple of episodes that will come up if we have the, the volunteers where we will do yeah. random Vox Pops. We'll have you sitting in the meeting and we'll just randomly go to you and be like, what do you think about fucking? <laughs> and we'll be good. <laughs> To be honest, the subject won't be anything about fucking, but we will still ask you what you think about fucking. Because yeah, it's too good an opportunity not to take. But I know the answer is everybody loves fucking. So, but anyway. Everybody loves fucking. Well, this is the thing. So are we saying as well that there's a group of people in fucking who don't like fucking? They wanted to change the name, so they don't like fucking. There are a group of people that exist on the like planet. Fucking, they didn't like the fact everybody else liked fucking. Just they didn't like fucking. They were like... Fucking to themselves. You know, for all the people that were like, I like fucking, they were like, I don't like fucking. Fucking has to change. <laughs> they revolutionised fucking. Well, I don't think they wanted fucking to change. They just didn't like how much everybody else liked fucking. So they changed fucking. They, had they changed change, fucking yeah. despite everyone else. Yeah. This conversation is brilliant, by the way. Hands down, one of the best we've ever had. <laughs> it's one of the best conversations anyone's ever had. I mean, I would say, for me, it was only topped by the time that we spoke exclusively in John Burke Out Gifts, which is my all-time favourite conversation <laughs> I've ever had with anyone. <laughs> but this is a very, very close second. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right, anyway. Moving on, otherwise we'll stay other on. Stories, the other stories. Other stories. We will, I mean, like, it's hard not to. Should have closed with that. No, because then the stop. ending would have gone on forever. <laughs> with the double entendres. <laughs> 
Right. So this is one that I'm telling you this story, and to be honest, I don't fully understand it myself. So it's going to be an interesting one to tell. No, <laughs> fuck that pen. <laughs> I was hoping no one noticed. But the people listening, they don't know what's happened. Then to everyone else, what happened was I was trying to make a point on my pad with my pen, and on the up of the point, released for whatever reason, and it just sort of flew across the room quite violently. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say one word, and you're going to go yes or no. And then later on, you'll probably go, oh, yeah, I knew anyway. Monolith. Yes, I've heard of it, but I don't understand what's happening. The monolith. So in San Juan County in Utah, a roughly three meter or 10 foot tall monolith appeared in the desert. Yeah. It was photographed. It was shared on social media and then it disappeared a few days later. But now, they've been popping up in other places, haven't they? Well, this is the thing. But anyway, but just according to Google Earth, Google Images, the monolith actually appeared sometime in 2016, between July and October. Um, but then it did disappear after it was discovered. Now, I'm just going to read through a list of all the other places it was discovered, okay? That they were discovered. Yeah. And most of them disappeared a few days after they were discovered. Some, so France had a few had about four or five in France, but all of them were claimed by various artists and companies saying that was us, that was a stunt. Yeah, you know, yeah. they were kind of joining the monolithic hype, so to speak, which is a sentence that before 2020, I didn't think I'd utter without pausing on it, but there you go, 2020, yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> um, so, uh, in, that was in late November, the, the, the Utah one, um, November the 18th it appeared, but was shared. In December 29th, in Symphony Forest Park in uh, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, in India, um, a monolith appeared, which featured numbers, um, which actually were longitude and latitude locations for wildlife parks in India. So mm -hmm. one can assume that was some kind of stunt. Uh, in December 6th, in Austria, in Katchberg, near the B99 road, and it then moved to a golf course in uh, Salzburg. Uh, then uh, four days later, in December the 10th, and in another field in Upper Austria, uh, in Flanders, in Belgium, there was one, there was also a smaller one in Limburg, um, uh, and then another one in Limburg as well, which was a taller one, which had uh, Fortis in Unum written upon it, which means as one, we are strong. Uh, in Latin, there was one in Czech Republic, there was in Savolina in a recreational area in Finland, um, and then another in a protected field in Virat in Finland. Um, here in the UK, we had a few. We had one in the Isle of Wight, which, to be fair, Tom Dunfold, uh, a local artist, claimed, and then it sold for £810 for a charity bid. Right. Um, one in December 9th uh, that came up in uh, Dartmoor, apparently oh no in glastonbury sorry there was one that appeared that had not banksy written on it which i quite like uh, i assume that not was banksy. i assume that was uh graffiti i don't think anyone like was it. thinking it was banksy uh there was one in dartmoor there was one in croyd and there was one in st albans in a primary school which disappeared croyd? yeah Apparently, there was one in St Albans in a primary school which disappeared just a few days afterwards, and then the primary school head teacher came out and said that it was apparently part of a writing exercise for the kids. I, I, I what the f I don't know how that even is a thing. Um, Lerwick, there was one in Salisbury which I find quite sad. Um, those bloody Russians. Um, no, but there's one in Salisbury that was uh, <clears throat> actually destroyed by vandals. Okay. Classic British. We we you know this beautiful thing appears. <clears throat> and most of the world is like, what is it? What does it mean? And the Brits are like, go fucking tear it down, mate. <laughs> and throw some eggs at it. Um, but also in Birmingham and Sheffield. <clears throat> Here's some other countries it was in. <clears throat> uh, Ukraine, all, Germany, Sweden, Spain. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ukraine, Germany, Sweden, Spain, Slovenia, Slovakia, Romania, Poland, Norway, Holland, Italy, Hungary, Austria, New Zealand, <clears throat> Panama, the Bahamas, Bolivia, Colombia, Paraguay, Iran. There were 12 in Canada and 20 states across the US showed monoliths. 
um, all quite similar to the monoliths in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 The Space Odyssey from 1968, <clears throat> which were sort of sentient AI creatures. And the truth is, I'm telling you this, I don't know, I still don't know what they were, why they were there. <clears throat> I would pro it's probably a wild, a wide scale hoax or one that started off as something small. Someone just thought they'd get a few laughs out of it, just knowing people would be confused by the first one. And then probably people have just jumped on the bandwagon. Mm. <clears throat> I think where have these been produced? I thought it was all going to lead to some huge, and it still might, some huge company um, PR stunt. Like one company were just going to come out and say, <coughs> yeah, it's us. Chief? I don't know. I can't imagine, like, if it suddenly came out, Coke were behind it the entire time, that I'd suddenly go, oh, I've got to drink more Coke now. Yeah, I've got to drink I mean? more Coke. I, just... I don't know. Or it was really like, we just did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'd... Maybe there's like a, a, a monolithic producer who's like, man, monoliths are not shifting. So do you know what I need to do? I need to put them in random places, build them. In I random places, but they weren't necessarily modern. Like yeah, they were just some of them were steel. A lot of them and reflect um, the surfaces. The thing is, I'm just part of me wonders whether it's just someone <clears throat> or people doing it just for the sake of causing confusion. Because there's obviously no real, I suppose, reason behind any of it why you would place a monolith somewhere and then remove it like that writing exercise one that, that yeah that head, makes no sense that headmaster coming out with that None. just made it seem more dodgy do you know what i mean it made me think the guy's a pedo yeah it was like, like there's there, there's it's interesting it's straight pedo stuff. but like it's definitely like oh there's an alien attack what should we do right no it's a writing exercise nothing to worry about children calm down <laughs> calm down it was just there. Uh, well, the thing is, I like the fact your first <coughs> thought is alien invasion. Mine was, he's obviously a pedophile. Well, mine's, yeah, so, like, like, mine's quite innocent. Highly, and, a man in a position and, of power touching children <laughs> in an alien invasion. Yeah, we but both mine's know quite like a, is... my, mine's quite like a childlike wonder of like, oh, I imagine if it, and, and yours is very much, um, you know, you someone's hurt you. No, mine Someone's is just quite realistic that men in positions of power quite often tend to fuck children. You know, it's it's not it's it's not odd. Well, let's hope you don't get that promotion. <laughs> I don't work with kids. I I didn't hear you say that would stop them. <laughs> no, but like, I I don't know. No, no like, I don't know to what end. I don't know to what end. Yeah. It's odd. I, I just, I and think I realize other than just for people knowing that people like us, they all happened. A conversation about it, I don't know. They all kind of happened after that first one, so most of them happened across December 2020. Yeah, and I think I know a lot of people would have been jumping on the bandwagon. Just, yeah, people just thinking, oh, I can get a bit, bit of attention or traction, but then it's not like being... I said. There's at least there's at least eight or ten around the world um, that have been claimed by artists and companies saying yeah we would just jump on the bandwagon but then part of me thinks did they actually jump on the bandwagon or did just no one else take credit so they did yeah is it one of those al-qaeda type situations where like yeah that was us yeah that was that was that's a good plan man. that was us. the truth that's is sort us. of a mastermind behind the monolith mayhem coming forward and say it was me <laughs> what did you achieve I put monoliths all over the globe. But yeah, put them up all over the place, mate. Check yeah. it. Every Children's continent playground. Right, except Africa. Yeah, that's right. Children's playgrounds. I put one there. Except Africa and Asia. None in Africa and Asia. Racist. So far, a racist anyway. monolith. A racist mastermind. monolithic builder. Yeah, a mace, yeah, a racist monolithic mastermind. That madman who just doesn't like Guaranteed Asian people or black people. He wears a monocle. Absolutely. Probably, I'm um, probably, probably, he probably goes around constantly asking his secretaries, "Is is that a monolith in my pants?" You know, you you bet it is. <laughs> it's always about cops with you, Jake. You were literally just talking about paedophilia. You you were literally just talking about how men just love fuck. I want to see the headmaster's cock, Jake. 
I don't want to see the, the, the mastermind's cock. I'm just saying, he probably thinks it's a great pun and they're all sick of it, but he uses it every time. <laughs> <It's> not... <clears throat> I didn't I say, oh yeah, I'd really love to, to see his monolith. <laughs> he came at me like, you literally weren't even talking about paedophilia, just being like, oh, I don't know, it's a bit dodgy, start talking about cocks. <laughs> All I said was, it's all about cocks with you, Jay. It said it quite calmly, quite jovially. <laughs> you went off no, well, I, I can't help it. I can't help it if in every single episode that we do, a, a natural opening shows itself for a cock. <laughs> Oh. That's that's not my fault. It's all about the cox with you, Jay. <laughs> cox and monoliths. So, yeah, anyway, I, I don't I don't know what someone could gain. Um, maybe it is an alien race planting monoliths all over the place. Who knows? Maybe they were just like they saw all the shit that was going on that we were doing to ourselves politically, and they were like, "Let's see how fucking dumb they really are. Just put rocks all over the place and see what they do." Yeah. Would have worked. It did work. We don't know what happened. We don't know what's happening. Well, the thing is, I just it hasn't really caused anything. I just kept seeing pictures of monoliths on social media. <laughs> That's yeah. all that happened. Yeah, it was. It was a bit of a, a fad for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I just didn't really give it much attention. I was like, oh, another monolith, and then I just scroll past. Yeah, anyway, why don't you, why don't you, or do you want me to move on to my next one? Because there is a nice segue there. Yeah, 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 segue away. Okay, so I'm going to segue into this one because it does, so you've literally just said it's all about. Is there something phallic involved? It is something phallic involved. You said it's all about the cocks. It is something phallic involved. Now this, again, I know we said 2020. This is technically, this is technically news that's broken at the very start of this year, 2021. But it's well worth sharing and talking about it. It's honestly, are you aware of the newest Danish kids TV show? Yes, I'm well apprised. <laughs> there, they announced plans to air on the DR channel. I, you know, I don't speak that. A new children's TV cartoon aimed at four to eight year olds, uh, chronicling the life and the struggles of John Dillamond. And the reason he might struggle is because he has the world's longest penis. Swear to God, that's a real thing. And I should just add that Dilla is Danish slang for penis um, and Mand is man. So his name is John Penis Man in Danish. They have a kid's cartoon called John Penis Man and it's about the man with the world's longest penis. And I've seen the car, I've seen like a, a, a still of the cartoon and it is like extraordinarily long. It must be about 20 foot, like it is. Right. <laughs> Well, the Scandinavians are a bit more, I don't know. Aggressive, what's, is the yeah, nice way to say it. Yeah, it's a nice way to put it. So, yeah, I mean, um, it's an odd thing to to advertise to children. Um, well, the thing is, is they were talking about how, like, they want to, you know, kids would be curious about their bodies and they want to kind of, like, normal. I'm like, okay, but you've really focused in on the penis thing there. Also, that's not <laughs> very, like, body positive thing. It's like... no. Oh, this guy, you know, how many of you kids have a name is penis, 30 for penis? His name is Penis Man, which is ironically named. You know, did 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 he have the penis before his parents named him, or <laughs> did his parents name him and then he was like, I need a really long penis, and he got to work on it? I don't know. Who, but but the thing that really strikes me is the age category that it's aimed at. What was it again? It's four to eight. <laughs> Maybe it's to normalise penises with them at a young age so when they reach like teenage years the obsession with cock like you have is uh, it's gone <laughs> if i was if i was if danish this wouldn't happen system without the need of either a pedophile headmaster or monoliths everywhere but like like imagine like there was a meeting where someone was like okay who's it for and they were like no toddlers you can't show toddlers a cartoon about a man with an abnormally long penis no, like, did you actually primary school kids well like not as far as i know not outside of his clothes but it's very long so he's it's it's always there <laughs> sort of like tails round him right. <laughs> do you see the tip jake 
it, it, to be fair, the still I saw of it, his cock extended out of the frame of shot. That's how big we're talking here, big. It would fit in the shot. It's big. It's a big dick. Trust me, Jake. I'm used to working with uh, <laughs> things of that size. But like, just I don't know. Could you just imagine trying to get that off the ground here? What? There's a well, show yeah, called John Penis it. Man. <laughs> okay, but who's it? So it's you're doing like an adult cartoon? No, 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 no. For like primary it's school obvious. kids, yeah. you know, years one, years two, nursery, that kind of age. It has reekings of the of the paedophile master. You know what? There's a sort of innocence about it, though. Yeah. Trying to normalise no, like, it, I guess. With the deep down, like I'm, I'm all for it. Trying to normalise talking about body I parts. I just wouldn't be able to keep a straight so face that... while watching it swing around on the screen. Do you know what I mean? Well, what is he like? What, imagine if he like fucking lassos it or. <laughs> I mean, what if he's, he's going to use it to fight crime, I imagine. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> With a long dick of the law. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I just, I, I, I only actually... assume he's going to use it for the forces of good rather than evil. I think, I think my understanding is that it's just like a, it's a, an innocent, he sort of, With, you know, he keeps tripping over it, and he keeps Jake getting in the way. He's like going shopping, but his trolley keeps tripping on it, and then like he fight off right over his shoulder, and then people are tripping on it, and like it's just, you know, this poor guy and these struggles of having. And look, I get it. I know the struggles of having a penis that's too big. I understand all too well. Yeah, I've told you all about it, haven't I? You you told me it was the biggest, and I believed you. And there's no need to go on about it. <laughs> that's always been your excuse for not sleeping with me. Your is that it's said too it's big. The I'm and only she joking. Seen, yeah. She listens to the pod. I love you. I don't she mean does listen to the pod. Um, but yeah, John, I mean John, John, John Penisman, John Dillamond. Yeah, I, I, I'm not quite. I, yeah, I can only assume it's normalising cocks to children. Honestly, like I'm curious to see an episode just to see what it's like. Not because I have an obsession with cocks. Purely because, like, I'm curious to see how they, what their actual angle is. You're like the guy with the weird hair that goes, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. It's aliens. But I'm not like, saying it's cock. I'm not saying it's cock, but it's cock. <laughs> but it's cock. <laughs> the answer to all things in life. I don't know what you want me to tell you. But it's so great nice anyway. John Dillerman, Danish TV show for eight to four to eight year olds about a man with the world's longest penis. Um, yeah, fair enough. Also, I he mean, probably a note that's taken it in a dirty direction. A serious um, inadequacy problem made that show. And he overcompensated by being like fucking biggest, biggest, and like right, it's like it's like a good four or five foot. He's like double, triple it, quadruple it. I want it, I want it off the screen. I want it so big. Thing is that it's so big, like he would actually, like, he couldn't get erect because the the, no, the blood died. going through it would he yeah, die? Yeah, he would die. So yeah. he'd have to constantly be not sexually aroused. Yeah. What a life, John Dillerman. I'm well, sure we'll find out sooner or later. Men with uh, inadequ inadequacy problems will segue on to my next one. Oh, why are you always talking about me? <laughs> I don't think you're going to want to be connected with this name. <laughs> Oh, good, uh, good, good. And it's Adolf Hitler wins local election in Namibia. I had that! I had that! <laughs> yeah, in Punja in Namibia. Yeah. Mate, how could he not? He's like, yeah, his, his name is Uanona Adolf Hitler. Yeah, and he thought it was just a normal name. <laughs> Yeah, he won with an 85% of the vote. Because so. that's the thing, you know, his parents must have been Nazi supporters, because why else would you name your child? No, Hitler? no he's, he's been interviewed about it, and he said that his dad knew the name Adolf Hitler because it had been mentioned a few places, but he didn't really know anything about him. And he was just like, oh, Adolf Hitler, it must be a respectable name. And do you know what it reeks of to me? It reeks of Wayne Hennessy. It reeks of Wayne Hennessy. It's yeah, like it the, sorry, the second, the second World Nazi War. <laughs> the, the the second World War, you say? Yeah. Nazis, not Nazi. Nazis. Am I saying that right? Nazis, Nazi. It, it screams. My parents were Nazi supporters. I'm sorry. He was born in 1965. 
just to say that out there. So his parents, oh, even if yeah, he's been like, around during World so War So they'd have II. grown up, or they'd have certainly grown up post World War Two in that immediate aftermath where See, that was yeah, all I'm, anyone I'm could talk about. It no dominated the landscape. Hitler, oh, oh, no. and, and what's more confusing is he's never changed it. Yeah, you would. You would. I fucking absolutely you would. If you were called fucking Uanana Adolf Hitler, Uanana, not Uanana, but Uanana Adolf Hitler, you'd be like, Isn't it well, Adolf Hitler, fine. Uanana? Oh, well, yeah, depending on, you know, different cultures, they put the first name and the surname. Okay, fair enough. Wrong yeah, so it's, it yeah, is Adolf must, Hitler, Uanana. As soon as you found you'd be out, like, you would change it. There's no way you're thinking, I can redeem this name. Do you know what I mean? No, absolutely. It's, it's, oh man, it's so bad. It's so bad. And, and he was like, his defense was that apparently he was like, oh, but I only ever, he's like, to be honest, I never used that name on any of my socially or on any of my platforms or anything. I only ever use it to sign official documents. If there's one place you don't want Adolf Hitler turning up, it's on official government documents. I mean, <laughs> for fuck's sakes. Yeah, it screams of someone that's like, I actually don't mind being named after a man who committed mass genocide. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I would. Yeah, be he's the guy that's that he's like in a position of power now. He's the guy. He's the guy who's like, well, he turned the economy around. You know. So you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, you change never talk it. About you would change it. Of Adolf Hitler, do we? <laughs> and it's just, it just, it brings the question of: Are we once again trying to be deceived? about people's knowledge or are there actually people in the world who don't know much about the second world war and what went on the thing is i could have believed it until you told me when his parents or when he was born so then it automatically tells you how old his parents are and then it becomes impossible that they didn't know yeah if he'd have been born in Especially the 80s and his parents had been born in the 60s kind of nations thing. were involved or at least affected by world war Two. So everyone was affected, yeah, yeah absolutely. So it, so it would have been impossible not to know who the leader of the Nazi party was, regardless of where you were. Or what the Nazi party was. Yeah, so I'm it, it, it raises more questions of like, like you say, why did he not change it? All right, so he's not changed it, so what? Like, it, it just like there are the majority of. The Nazi. of German speaking nations or German sounding languages actively avoid the word, the name Adolf. So, like, I don't know, just the connotations. Even if you're like, you know, Adolf Gugelmeyer and you're like, I don't know, the Adolf, though, it's a bit dodgy. I'm this guy was like, full sure Adolf and Hitler. In Germany to call your child Adolf? No, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure there are still Adolfs being born. Are you sure? I'm... Yeah. Well, you probably could be right. It's just like, it could be an urban myth. I've just, just something I've heard. People actively avoid it, whereas this guy went full. This guy's parents went full Adolf and Hitler, both the full thing yeah, in there. That's the thing. If he'd have just been named Adolf, I could have been like, they heard the name, you know, like if he was Adolf Uwadundu or whatever his name is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Like, he heard it. It's just maybe there was a German friend of the family or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like his great great uncle was named. Yeah, you Adolf, don't need to know that he was named after Hitler. Yeah, but to actually call him Adolf Hitler, it, it... What's his brother called? Like Joseph Stalin? Do you know what I mean? Like, where'd you end it? Uh, his brother's called Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a brilliantly bizarre story. And I have to say, of all the ones I'd read, I'm glad you... I knew there'd be some... Cro- I thought there'd be some crossover, but I'm glad that was the one, because that I was honestly... I thought there wouldn't be. I didn't think you'd have picked up on that one, but it was... That was honestly uh, my favourite story that I came across, because it was like, right. there's so many questions about it. Why didn't you change it? How the hell did your parents not claim to not know about who the fuck he was? The thing is, all of like, he can claim innocence by, like... Well, my parents didn't know what it was, but you now know what it is. Yeah. It's a fucking change. He's been alive. He's he's like fifty, fifty mid fifties. Yeah. You know, yeah, fifty five, fifty six, whatever he'd be now, and you're like, okay, you knew you wanted to be a politician as well. You knew you wanted to go into politics, which is like an area that is not only yeah. the industry is associated with him, the area is associated with the man. You just you change it. It just screams he knew exactly what he was doing. 
yeah, no. If I was if I was in the movie in June, I'd be worried. Maybe it's it's sort of a gimmick as well. Do you know what I mean? Like perhaps he saw yeah, it. Yeah, maybe he can play it off and be like, oh, yeah, I don't feel that. I mean? The yeah, other no, one. I, yeah, yeah, but I think that possibly an angle of it, he, it would get him more attention than he, than he might get otherwise. I mean, it did. I'm surprised it only got picked up after he won the election. Not, it wasn't being reported about that. There's a guy in Namibia running for a. Well, I suppose we are perhaps not got our finger on the pulse of the <laughs> Namibian political landscape. As, <laughs> as we do other nations, and that's not being disparaging to our Namibian listeners. Um, I'm sure the politics in, the, in Namibia is more than interesting. Um, but yeah. No, and if you grew up, I mean, it's, the chances are so slim, but if you're listening to this and you grew up or you know someone who grew up in Mpunja, um, please or any of the other northern parts of Namibia, I guess, please um, get in touch with us and let us know. Did they know what the Second World War? Like, do they know about the Nazi party? Or they, is that a genuine blind spot in their education? Yeah, but, like, I know. I just, I'm sorry. No, he has no excuse, because since growing up... No, but for any know, of them, I, I, I mean, maybe I'm being harsh to the N- Namibians. Uh, I don't know what sort of... How many of double takes must he get? When people are like, oh, hi, oh, you must be, um, oh, sorry, what was your name like? Oh, Adolf Hitler, like, wait, what? Do I mean like a proper, No, but you'd think, excuse like, me? Maybe you'd check, like, all right, call himself Addy or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could change it into a positive, but uh, I've just, I love well, here's the, the idea, here's my qu- I'm not going to have him walking into a room, Adolf Hitler, how'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> here's my question to you, referring back to an earlier article that we discussed. Um, the article of the issue of fucking. Um, if you were to change your name from Adolf Hitler, which letters would you change to just subtly alter it so that you knew it was still Hitler, but it wasn't? Adolphus. Adolphus. <laughs> Adolphus Hitler. Hitler. Adolphus I, no, Himmler's Hitler. still just as bad. Himmler oh, is still yeah. bad. Yeah, Let's, Joseph Himmler, sorry. Let's, <laughs> let's, the word, what about Adolf Hitler? Adolf, There's still something there. Uh, Adolf Hitler? Yeah, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. It's like, because then even then you'd, you'd still people would be like, "Are you sure, bro? Are you sure you want to name your child Adolf Hitler? Are you sh- you're no, sure no, that's no. the name you're picking?" Adolf Hitler. Because Adolf Hitler. Swap the O and the Dilf I. and Hot. Oh yeah, that also. I went. <laughs> I took it to the dark place. <laughs> 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 Why did you do that? Why did you make a fist demonstrating being at a cock? <laughs> How big is a Dilf in Hotler's cock? <laughs> He's John Dickman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing though, like, like John Penisman is a more acceptable name socially than Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I'd feel more comfortable around him. I'm sure you would too. I'm massively more comfortable around him. Like the fact he knows now who Hitler is and hasn't. Uh, I don't know. It's. I guess he'd lose all his fame if he changed it now. I felt like I had to simulate it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, just, just, just in case I wasn't sure. <laughs> and in, case people, <laughs> in case people on people watching on YouTube were like, I don't know what he means, but I oh, Dilf. Oh, oh, he's got, yeah. No, I get it, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, dear. And I'm the one that's obsessed with cock. <laughs> well... Yeah, well, if the shoe fits, if the condom fits. <laughs> Who wears cowboy boots, Jake? That's all I'm saying. Oh, they look good. Like, don't even lie. Why are you coming my cowboy boots? There's like, two of us who's more comfortable with cock. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, would you like to give us another story, Jake? Yeah, sure. I've only got a couple left. I just the, the one we've got to touch upon I've only is got the one um, more. and you know this, you know this story. The Hungarian MEP um, Josef uh, Shah, or however you pronounce his name, I'm butchering that. Who was the um, the right wing anti gay politician who was caught in a gay orgy at Brussels? 
the thing is though, I'm I'm pretty sure every anti-gay politician is gay. He's gay. Like, it's just it's a repressed. It has to be. It's the repressed anger and everything like that, and they're just jumping on it. And I don't know. It's. it's Do you think the saying, level of opposition to to homosexuality indicates how gay they are? Like if they're just a little bit against it, they're just a little bit gay. They're by bit maybe. Curious, even. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like the full they, on, they, we have to condemn it. We have to. Point, they're you know I mean? full on. They're like they're. They are like how you imagine me. They are cock obsessed. <laughs> I don't imagine you as anything, mate. The proof is in the pudding. When people listen to this episode, well, there aren't cocks in my puddings. <laughs> Do you know what? I bet there is. Christmas Day, there was a cock trifle. <laughs> the dick in the middle. <laughs> Mate, you had spotted dick on Christmas Day. We both know. Wait, it. can I just clarify? What's a, what's a dick trifle? Is it a dick in a trifle, or is it a dick on a dick on a dick? <laughs> that's just a cock sandwich, Jay. <laughs> that's obviously. That's, this is what I had to clarify. <laughs> a dick trifle would obviously just be a dick in a trifle. Well, you say obviously between the two of us, one of us has clearly had more experiences with dick trifles. Mate, there's nothing wrong with a good dick trifle. <laughs> depends on where. It depends on the source of the dick. Oh dear. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the gay. Um... Joseph Shah, yeah, the, the gay <laughs> Hungarian. <laughs> Yeah, but it's always the case. It's even not necessarily with um, gay people. You get it with um, whoever's like preaching saintly values. And I mean, look, priests. Oh, they're adulterers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all it's all like that. We had uh, like quite a few years ago. I mean, nowadays he'd probably get knighted for it. But he was a politician. Let's go. This is a story where you get touched. <laughs> no, it was a story about a politician. He was caught on a coked up bender with a prostitute. Um, she took pictures of yeah, him. Yeah, I remember in her, that. The pictures of him in her underwear and stuff. In her like bra, that. yeah. Yeah, yeah, And like, he'd probably get knighted for that now, but he, looked, but he was quite yeah. a staunch, like, family values, you know, sort of guy. And it's normally the way, isn't it? They're normally all... Yeah, no, it's always... That's the scandal, isn't it? It's it's yeah. the fact that they're so... Like, the scandal isn't that the, the dupe is at a gay orgy. Like, if you want to go to a gay orgy, fucking crack on. The, the scandal of the fact that he I'd was... Like um, that would be socially irresponsible. But for people like no, Jake, but, no, I don't suppose. Cock, it's probably something you can't live without. Can't avoid. Can't avoid it. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's the fact that he was anti-LGBT. Yeah, I mean, that was the real scandal. Yeah, it normally is. But I think it's it's also... You, you hear it and you go, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Oh, no one was shocked. Yeah, no one was shocked. Yeah. Especially when you saw he, he was really, really anti-gay. And you're like, oh, he's definitely gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. definitely, definitely gay. Yeah. No, um, and they were all naked as well when they were arrested, which I was like... <laughs> no, not that <laughs> I like, not like that. In Della Filippo, whatever it is. In yeah, they were, they were all just... They were just letting it all hang out. But the thing was, he was arrested <laughs> in, like, November. <laughs> they were at it, Jake, just... Just like, uh, and the police came in and they thought, here come the strippers. You know that <laughs> meme of the woman and the hot dogs hitting her face? It's like that. Yes. No, what did they, I imagine, oh, I hope they did think that when the police came in, they were like, oh, someone's cosplayed. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the policeman fetish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, come join us. <laughs> Please, let me see your truncheon. <laughs> Oh no, stop hitting! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I, had, I, had, I had to touch on that because it was like no, such brilliant. a brilliant call with his only... trousers down quite literally. Yeah, literally. There was no trousers, mate. Anywhere to be seen. There were no trousers. Yeah, there were no trousers. Uh, it was just cocks everywhere. Just a lot of it. Anyway, that'll yeah, be the last of the dicks from me. John me, Peterson. probably, by the sounds of it. John Dillon, John Peterson, yeah. I wasn't even going to say you. That's, that's the last um that's the last cock from me. And you know, I bet you where they all love to go for a good old fuck is fucking. <laughs> the big orgy in fucking with John Penisman. Yeah. 
Yeah, the I thought you were going to say something. For some reason, I thought you were going to like suggest some like restaurant where they all like to go afterwards. I don't know why. Cafe <laughs> Rouge. <laughs> no, do you know what though? I do. I do have to say this. I thought it was so weird. Like, I found myself. So I, the other day, I was watching a. Um, all they say do not afterwards the last is go to the hot dog vendor. <laughs> hey, nice. No, I like that. No, I was watching a program, like a documentary about a swingers club in the UK, and. Um, Genuinely, I was like, they, they cut to the kitchen and there was this huge like preparation underway for the for they had a buffet on. And immediately I was like, oh, I fancy, I could go for a bit of that. And then I caught myself, I was like, okay, what you're saying now is that you you're, you would go to a swinging party just, just, for, the the, just, for, the, just for the buffet. To be honest, and then though, they went I know you really well and you would for a free meal. Yeah, if it was free, I would. If, I could, yeah. if it was free entry, I'd be in there, in the lounge, eating, and then I'd leave. They had a nice so heated pool as well, and I was like... The rules is, you have to have a go. Do you know what I mean? Well, this is the thing. So, like, they were in the... They were in the it was a nice pool and whatever, and people were in the pool. And I was talking to Ash about this. We were, And I was like, it would be really awkward when someone starts going at it next to you, or, like, opposite <laughs> you, and you accidentally make eye contact. That's really uncomfortable, making small talk while someone's going down on someone else. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you why. Ash is a knob. There's, I have a story with him and awkward eye contact that I will tell you on episode 69. In the 69 episode, so yeah. and I know the story. Yeah. I was filming. Um, no, um, <laughs> anyway. No, but it involved another man running off crying. <laughs> Most of our stories do. Yeah. Well, um, do yeah. Anyway, please, you've got one more. <laughs> you've got one more story. <laughs> Let's get through it. Let's end the cock chat and move on. Right. Uh, yeah, well, I'd like to think this conversation has nothing to do with Cox. Um, but this story came up in November last year, and it was cold zombie minks rise from graves in Denmark. Okay. So basically, it turned out minks in Denmark on farms had somehow contracted a different variant of covid and it was spreading quite quickly so they had to cull millions of minks because obviously minks were farmed for their fur and they used to make coats and other stuff and yeah um and, <laughs> and what was this belarus this was in denmark denmark oh right okay i in my head i went mink to minsk my mistake yes yes Please. Um, Basically, the bodies of minks culled in Denmark due to the pandemic arising, uh, arising from their mass graves. More than 10 million of the furry creatures were killed when a vaccine-resistant mutation of COVID-19 broke out on farms. Now, thanks to gases released during the decaying process, the minks have expanded and pushed out of the ground. <laughs> so they're just coming up through the through the soil. Yeah, they're not actually coming up and like are yeah. actually zombies, but it freaks some locals out. It freaks people out. Why wouldn't it? If a grave yeah. started rumbling and something came up out of it, you wouldn't exactly be like, "Oh, cool." They were literally. I think the thing was, people were like, "In 2020, if anything was possible, zombie minks could be." Oh, zombies are definitely. You'd be going around playing 2020 bingo. You'd be like, "Who had zombie minks?" Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> I just thought it was a funny little story. I just imagine like a local farmer, he's going about his business. How would you react to it? I'd fucking would scream, you? mate. If like, if dead animals were coming out of the ground, I wouldn't be happy about it. I'd be off. <laughs> the thing is, it's, it reminds me of a story, um, to mention our friend Ash. We talked about we were going to rent a house for like a couple of weeks, everyone, like get everyone involved and go stay in the country somewhere. And we talked about like we're outside, we're having a fag, and we see an axe wielding madman walking into the house. What would we do? And it was like, go get our keys and fuck off. <laughs> wow. Leave everyone, leave wow. everyone else. To I had no idea wielding. that I was being left for dead. <laughs> well, we, we agreed that to be nice, <laughs> what I said, I suggested to be nice, we drop everyone a text, like in the group chat. Oh, a little group chat. Yeah. Hey guys, guys murder in the house. Axel did man walking into the house. And then, do you know what Ash said? We'll slash all their tires so we get a head start. <laughs> <laughs> so you went from being, let's put this clear, you went from being dicks, heroes, sending a nice little group text, you've saved everyone, well done. It's very heroic thing to do. To being <laughs> villains of the, the piece. Of Ash's car. 
who, who are now essentially working with the axe wielding maniac to make sure that his prey can't get away. Yeah, but then Ash is just that sort of guy. No, no, don't, no. I was going to say, don't, don't, don't say like, yeah, but then, as if you're about to try and defend it, you've just condemned us all to our death. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not defending it, it, but this is Ash we're talking about. <laughs> Ash is very cut and dry. Oh, yeah, I saw you protesting big time when you were getting in the car from oh, blowing no. the text. I've just been fortunate enough to be the guy that's outside with him. Do you know what I mean? If I'm inside, I'm dying with the rest of you. You're that guy that's like, wait, no. Stop. <laughs> Look, the thing is, in that situation, can I stop this axe wielding madman? No. So what? As you know, you haven't tried. You were in the car before you could even size him up. <laughs> no, but this guy's huge. Think like he might Jason. have been next door's gardener for all you know, and you've already in the car no, fucking down no, the, no, on the motorway. Like Jason from you know Jason the hockey mask, huge fucker. Yeah, as opposed to like Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> no, but frankly, if Jason Statham was walking in there with a mar with a with an axe, I'm not trying to stop him either. No, I know you're you're slashing our tires. Thanks for that. No, actually slashing your tires. I'm sat. Yeah, while you're composing crying. the text, while you <laughs> <laughs> through tears, <laughs> oh, guys. Oh god! Oh, finally, I get to find a new host for Crossing Swords. And then, <laughs> listen. But how quickly afterwards would you be like on social media being like, RIP guys, we really tried. It was such a shame. We're the lucky ones. My main concern would be, like, I look, I'm not even lying. How do I know he's not going to track me and Ash down afterwards? Well, in what? You've smashed all the tyres. He can't get after you. No, but like, how do... No, but you know, like in horror films, like they seem to always they know who you are. Everyone. Yeah, so like that, it's that not a random attack. They target you. Yeah, so like part of me, part of me thinks like the best solution is to actually try and kill him. Um, but at the same time, we know he'd be coming for us the second time round. So you just got to sit and wait with some weapons, and you know you're good to go. It's a tragic so you, circumstance that everyone else you, died, but you condemn you condemn all of us. To, you condemn all of us to death. Then you very quickly sit and wait for your own death. Well, no, it's a I'm solid system. It's death. a solid system. Prepare for his death. Well, why would you? Why you got to wait to kill him? Kill him before he kills us. No, but I haven't got anything, have I? I have to say, I'm truly offended by this turn of events. Like I said, like, I don't imagine like, you. Oh, you, you, me, you give the high ground, and you're like, oh yeah, no, but you know, we'd, you know, are honestly, we I'd think avenge your death, I then. You would die in vain. Yeah, you'd avenge my death. Of course, you would. Make a, you make a killing on the old crossing swords in memoriams. Absolutely fucking. And Jay, if it was the other way around, I'd expect nothing less from you. But it wouldn't be the other way around because I died in the house. I didn't leave you to die. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, if it's the other way around and you're with Ash outside, we both know you're not running in to save us. That wasn't the scenario that was proposed. Let's stick to the scenario that was proposed. <laughs> but we both know I die in the house, you're milking the, the my co-host was axed to death card for everything. Oh, while Ash, is, while Ash is driving away, I'm turning the radio down so I can perform a, 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 a eulogy <laughs> video that I can post to the pod's social medias. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's getting his head out stuff. He's <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, shit, he's alive. No, 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 he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I saw him in the mirror. About to, I'm, I'm chasing after the car. I'm like, guys, wait, you can save me. <laughs> Archer's like, we're not stopping. <laughs> it's too late. It's too yeah, it's late, too for, late him. for him. It's too late. I'm like, guys, <laughs> it's not too late. I've injured him. And you're like, no, it's too late. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I only yeah, have one more story to go through. Ash said to me, always reminds me, Ash said to me once, if we ever have a zombie apocalypse, I want to be with you when it happens. Like, yeah, because he knows he can outrun you. And he was like, well, no, because like, I know if worse comes to worse, I can outrun you. And if somehow you keep up with me, I'll just shoot you in the leg or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. It's truly, truly one of the greats. But do you, you, have, you have one more, right? No, no, that was it. Oh, that was it. Okay, in which case, I've got one more. Let's bring it home. Um, in May, uh, Elon Musk and his Canadian singer uh, partner Grimes welcome their son oh, to the world. Oh, child X equals Y, Z. Fuck him, Adapa. 
their name was X, and then it's kind of like an AE mushed together, A-12. Now, the A dash, the AE is pronounced Asher. So their child's name is X Asher 12. Is that pronounced Ash? Sorry. So it's Ash 12. X Asher 12. Now, this is my favorite part of the story. Do you know why he's, uh, uh, I can't, the Ash and the X, I don't get. But the A12, I know where that comes from. Right. The A12 is the A12 is is the uh, sorry code for the Archangel 12, which is and this is in Elon Musk's opinion the precursor, i.e. the one that came before the SR71, which is the coolest plane ever. So here's my thing: if the SR71 is the coolest plane ever, why would you name your son after the one that came first? That would be like being a huge fan of Luke Skywalker and calling your son Anakin. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> to be honest, none of it made sense. It very much screamed of a public. Very true. Stunt. It screamed of celebrity. Yeah, it reeked yeah, of it. it. It screamed of. I mean, I've listened to a lot of Elon Musk, um, and he's a weird dude. Um, he screamed of someone who's who's seen how it all ends. If that makes sense. So he just doesn't yeah. give a fuck. Like, yeah, he's if you a weird ever guy. listen to him talk about AI, it's one of the most bone chilling things I've ever listened to. Um, so yeah, he's just, and he just does whatever he wants. Like, he released a, a flamethrower online. Um, just yeah, I remember he's, that. He's he's dug tunnels in LA where he lives to skip the traffic. Brilliant. Um, or is that a rumor? No, 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 no. He's actually done it. He, he was. He talked about it on Joe true. Rogan's podcast. He was like, "There's an issue." Oh, the, the staple of truth. No offense. No, 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 no. But it was him. He, he wasn't asked about it. He talked about it. No. He, he basically the traffic in LA is a joke, and uh, the city were doing nothing about it. So he created a new system. He created tunnels in LA. But yeah. Anyway. Um... It's the A12 bit that's just my favourite bit. If he's like, what's your... He's like, I'll tell you what. The uh, thought has gone behind it, but it's just... The SR71 is the coolest plane ever. And they're like, oh, right, so you named your son after that. No, that would be stupid. I named him after the plane that came before it. Well, I suppose the point he's probably making is without that, you wouldn't have got... The coolest plane ever. Yeah, but if that's his fate, like, what? First of all, why name your son after a plane? <laughs> but if you're going to name him after a plane and you've got a favourite plane, name him after your favourite plane. Don't name him after something else. Don't name him after the one that came first. <laughs> it doesn't no, make I mean, sense. No, it doesn't make sense. But Elon Musk, like I said, he's just a weird dude. But that's but God, not what's your favourite like naming him, is it, though? They had to change it. Yeah, they call him something else. But what, it'd be like me saying, you know, it'd be like a footballer being like, oh, what number are you getting on your shirt? And you'd be like, well, my favourite number is 10. I, that is my favourite number. Oh, I'm so you go for number, number 10. Nine. No, I'm going for number 9, because that comes first. That comes before 10. You know, I'm all... There's no the honest, logic that follows that through. It's weird, but then, like, rich people do weird shit. Like, um, do you know Steve Jobs, when he founded Apple? When they were doing employee codes, they made Steve Wozniak number one and made yeah. him number two. And he threw a hissy fit, so they then made him number zero, so that he yeah. came so he came first. So, it, yeah. you know, rich people do weird shit. Yeah, and famous people do weird shit. So you put the two together and you get a rich, famous person, and it's just... Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't be allowed kids. I'll say I mean, they know They should be allowed kids, but someone else should be allowed to name them. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, um, let's just do a little one there. Um, I think we can no, all agree I've, that... I've enjoyed this episode. I think we can all agree the best story was hands down Adolf Hitler. Yeah, I think that was a good one. My favourite, anyway. I, I did enjoy fucking, though. Uh, we, uh, You know, who doesn't enjoy fucking? I mean, every now and then, even just a little fucking... But guys, let us know on the socials what you think. 
uh, what your favourite story Lots for you was. to tell us. If you've got any funny stories from the year that you know, whether it happened to you or just something you heard in the news, tell us about it. A friend. Um, no, but we want to know, yeah, we want to know first all episode ideas. If there's anything you want to see us do, if there's anything you want to see us do again, please do. How do they tell us, Let Jake? us know. They can tell us on Twitter at Swords Crossing. They can tell us on Facebook at Crossing Swords and they can tell us on Instagram at Crossing Swords underscore podcast and they can tell us via email which is uh, crossing swords19 at gmail.com and we also want to know what would you rename fucking? What would you <laughs> rename Adolf Hitler? Yeah, I think Adolf Hitler was good. It was quite, yeah. So you started accusing me of like being cock obsessed. To be fair... I called you cock obsessed before we talked about Ad Adolf Hotler. It was a dominating conversation. And I just want to make clear that it's not an obsession, a hobby at the most, but not an obsession. He just, he enjoys it. And much like I enjoy it, and you know, just even just a little bit of fucking. <laughs> even to just talk about fucking. I enjoy just talking about fucking. I enjoy talking about fucking, to be fair. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, talking about fucking with you <laughs> today. But on that fucking note, it's probably a good place as any to wrap things up, I'd imagine. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, we, we could go on, but that, you know, arguably we've already done so. Yeah. But no, guys, as always, thank you for listening. Please get in touch with us. And as always, stay safe. Yes. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.